April is Cancer Awareness Month, and for the past 25 years, the Canadian Cancer Society has encouraged the community to take a step up in the fight against cancer. Today we're celebrating the 25th annual Stair Climb for Children's Cancer here at the Skyline Tower in Niagara Falls. We have the opportunity for families to climb um, the casual climb. We have new prices this year, which is $15 for students, $25 for adults, and this year we have a $35 registration fee for an entire family. Once they get to the top, they do get a uh, certificate of completion showing their time, and there's donuts and, and uh, fruit and beverages at the top, and they get to enjoy the, the beautiful scenery. You have the casual climbers, the families that come to support this event, but you also have the competitive climbers who come from other areas of North America to be here today. Uh, tell me about that. We introduced the racing stairwell a few years ago. We just thought that it would be a unique opportunity for those people that wanted to test themselves. A number of years ago, we had Gord Singleton kind of create a record, uh, getting to the top at 3 minutes 24 seconds, and it's kind of been that long-standing uh, time for the last 15 or plus years. Uh, and it wasn't until last year when Troy Alston from Jacksonville, Florida, uh, decided to pop in and give it a go, and he actually beat the time at 3 minutes 21 seconds. And he's here again today to try and beat that record. Troy, you came back to the Skyline Tower for your second year. How did it go today? Um, I just feel like today was a little bit tougher than last year. Um, still, I feel like they got even steeper, but I was fortunate to reset my course record to 302 this year. How'd you do it? Um, two steps at a time, and when the pain got really unbearable, just kept digging, kept digging, taking two steps at a time, and kept going all the way to the finish. So you actually are here on the 25th anniversary, your second time in Canada. It's for the Canadian Cancer Society. What does that mean to you? Um, I love to do my part to help out. Uh, I think it's amazing that I come, get a good workout, be competitive, but the funds that I provide to the Canadian Society actually help, actually help to make another person's life better. And that's what it's all about. Will Smith has a quote, if you're not doing something to make somebody else's life better, then you're wasting your time. So I feel like this is me doing something to help somebody else. Jennifer, why has Pathways come to this event today? Uh, each month, Pathways picks a charity to give back to. So uh, in memory of one of our past teachers, we choose cancer for the month of April every year. So we're really passionate about the stair climb. This is our third year doing it. How did you get people involved to come here today? Um, our families are really great and they're really proactive. They love giving back to the community and so do our students. So we started with an in-school stair climb and each of our children gave us a toonie. Um, so that fundraised a good portion of our money. Uh, and then the rest of our families joined on their own free will. Tim, why have you and your family come to this event today? Uh, my family and I have supported the Cancer Society for years, and we do this as a family event together. Uh, this should be our, well, I've been doing it since before my kids were born, and as soon as my kids were old enough that I wouldn't have to carry them, we started bringing them too. So why is the Canadian Cancer Society so important to you? The Canadian Cancer Society helped me after I was diagnosed with testicular cancer. Um, I really didn't know who to go to and I was lucky enough to go to them and they helped me. I was able to support other people um, that have been diagnosed with a similar cancer and it also gives me an opportunity to give back to the community. Jonathan, is this the first time you've climbed the Skyline Tower in Niagara Falls? It's the first time, yes. And what was it like? Uh, it's, it's great for the first 15-20 seconds and then uh, yeah, I looked at my watch at a minute 30 and it got really, really tough. Um, yeah, on the lungs, the whole body. It feels very like someone's putting weights on your body. The money here at Stair Climb for Children's Cancer gets split between Pediatric Cancer Research, which is funded by the Canadian Cancer Society, as well as uh, we fund our Wheels of Hope transportation program right here in Niagara. And it's a service that's vital to Niagara families in terms of getting their family members who are struggling and, and battling cancer to and from their life-saving treatments. It alleviates the stress of having to worry about how to get there and the parking and the, and the stress of all that. So we try to, to make it a little easier and we have hundreds of volunteers that, that dedicate their time to take these families to their treatments. The 25th Annual Canadian Cancer Society Stair Climb for Children's Cancer is currently wrapping up. Participants, both young and old, climb the 660 steps to the top in support of a great cause. In Niagara Falls, reporting for The Source, I'm Lori Taraba. Congratulations, four hours and 30 minutes. Yes!